I would say the most immediate one would be that my father is a writer. And I think part of it is in the same way that uh, you have, you know, people whose parents are doctors, they become doctors, uh, or engineers, they become engineers, or sometimes fight against it as well. Uh, but I would say that, that has been a big influence, you know, and I think psychologically part of it is that you see it being done, so it's not this big mystery. You know, so I grew up in a house where I could see my father sitting down and writing, surrounded by books. Um, as opposed to, for, for, I mean, you know, I, I get into conversations with a, with a lot of uh, younger Kenyans now, um, where they'll send me an email and ask, how can I become a writer, right? You know, because they don't have, um, a, they don't have that example, you know. So, if, but for me, I had that example. So that, that would be one. But I, but I also like to believe I've been a writer anyway. Um, and part of it would be by wanting to speak of, of things um, that impacted me as I grew up or questions I had. Um, of, of one of them would be, um, for example, the school I went to called Genia High School was a, used to be a concentration camp. And by concentration camp, I mean there used to be a place where the Mau Mau or suspected Mau Mau people were held. So it was, a, it was a secondary school that was surrounded in the 1950s and so on and so forth would have been had a fence around it, but also have very, very deep trenches with spikes uh, around it as well, you know, because the whole idea was to keep the Mau Mau from interacting with anybody else. Uh, at the same time, where whenever I would go to visit my grandmother, you know, we'd walk, it was maybe like a five mile walk would be walking through landscapes that, are, that, that still bear the scars uh, of, the, of, the, of the fight for independence. So you can imagine as a child, I mean, <laughs> wouldn't that be the most curious thing, uh, trying to understand how this, this thing you're walking through uh, at some point uh, carried, um, you know, carried a death sentence for people um, and, and that carries so much history, right? You know, yeah, so, so I, I think such questions, I think, would have led me to, uh, to being a writer regardless. <laughs>